historic figures everyone should know. By History as Biography Ignatius of Loyola was a Spanish Basque priest, theologian, and founder of the Jesuit order. He was born in 1491 in the Basque region of Spain and was the youngest of 13 children. Despite his noble background, Ignatius had a tumultuous childhood and was known for his wild and reckless behavior. However, Ignatius experienced a dramatic conversion in 1521 while recovering from a wound sustained in battle. During this time, he read a number of spiritual texts, including the lives of the saints, and felt a strong desire to devote himself to God. He began to practice extreme forms of penance and self-denial, and eventually felt called to enter the priesthood. Ignatius traveled to the University of Paris to study theology and was ordained a priest in 1537. It was during this time that he met several like-minded individuals, including Francis Xavier and Peter Faber, who became his close friends and colleagues. Together, they formed the Society of Jesus, also known as the Jesuits, in 1540. The Jesuits were a religious order focused on education and evangelization, and Ignatius became their first superior general. He wrote the Constitutions of the Society of Jesus, which outlined the guiding principles and structure of the order. Ignatius believed that the Jesuits should be flexible and adaptable in their approach to evangelization, and he encouraged them to learn the language and culture of the people they were trying to convert. Ignatius also emphasized the importance of education and intellectual rigor in the formation of Jesuit priests. He founded the Roman College in 1551, which became a model for Jesuit institutions of higher learning around the world. Ignatius was a controversial figure in his time, and the Jesuits faced persecution and opposition from various quarters. However, he was a tireless worker and a brilliant strategist, and he managed to build a vast network of schools, colleges, and missions throughout Europe and beyond. Ignatius died in 1556, but his legacy lives on through the Jesuit order, which continues to be a powerful force in the Catholic Church and in education. His writings, including his spiritual exercises, have influenced countless people and have been widely translated and studied. Ignatius is revered as a saint by Catholics and is remembered for his deep faith, his devotion to education, and his commitment to spreading the gospel.